Anybody here plumping up these days? <laughs> yeah, a, lot, a lot more people. You are my friend? Everyone. Everyone? That's not, you can just say it's you. <laughs> huh? It's mostly me. It's mostly you. How are you? Are you guys related at all? Do you know each other? You're a loner. You're by yourself. Okay, not your lone wolf. Oh, just just by yourself. You're having body image issues clearly because you're like everybody's getting fat, right, guys? <laughs> you is everything all right in your life, man? <laughs> huh? I like to drink. You like to drink. Okay. So no is your answer then. So when I ask, is everything all right in your life, and you're like, I like to drink. <laughs> The answer is a resounding no to that question. I don't need a psychiatrist. You don't need a psychiatrist, you have me and booze, is that what you think? You you were one of the most in need of a psychiatrist person I've ever met in my life. If that's if that's what you think. Huh? It only cost me 35 bucks a year. You're right. Okay, so you want us to solve your problems right now. Let's do it. What's going on, man? What's are you let me guess, divorced? Huh? I mean, I just met a nice lady. She's a little, in her forties. Okay, nice lady in her forties, and you think it's gonna go good? A little bit older? Oh, how old are you? No, no disrespect. Huh? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Well, you're in the same ballpark. Right? <laughs> That's good, man. All right, so you think it's gonna work with this forty-year-old lady? I mean, maybe. I mean, we're having fun. You're having fun. All right, nice. You're gonna fuck her till it's over. You're gonna fuck her till it's over. That's good. You think maybe you might want to form a emotional bond with her? Or something? Or maybe share some experiences. All right. I don't. You know what, buddy? I see why you uh, need a psychiatrist. And thirty-five. Th I'm not gonna be able to get to the bottom of you in five. You know? I'm sorry. Do you? How about okay? We'll do some general psychiatry. Do you love your family? No, I hate them. You hate them. There we go. Right. Both bad? Dad and mom bad? Well, there's only one of them. But one of them. Yeah. So just mom? Yeah. Okay, so dad, you don't even know. Yeah, she's just... She's a little emotional. A little emotional. <laughs> your mom's emotional. All right. You think being a single mother was kind of hard? Or... Yeah. Maybe we can have a little empathy for mom. You know what I mean? That's, this were... Okay, I'm starting to see the root of your problem with women. <laughs> Your father abandoned you, but you're like, yeah, my fucking mom's a bitch. <laughs> I would probably hate on your dad just a little more than the person that stuck around. I mean, maybe she was a piece of shit too, don't get me wrong, but. Huh? She just come live with you. Come live with you? That's definitely not happening. I adopt you, you become my older than me by two years son. <laughs> That's, that would be kind of funny, actually. I'll, I'll think about that one. <laughs> Put you in Little League games? <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to, like, s speed you through a childhood. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hear a movie. All right. I, I, don't, I don't hear a movie. I, what I hear is a man that should Google affordable therapy near me. <laughs> Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do, if literally, I'm not even joking, if you go to therapy, I will give you tickets, free tickets for life. If you go to therapy, <laughs> truly. I will do that. That's a, that's a promise. That is a promise. Truly. I'm not even joking. All right, we're going to get this guy fixed. <laughs>